Hi guys, hope you're all keeping well. Uh, today's video I wanted to talk about my solar panel. At the moment it's only a small one, it's only 40 watts. It's just one that I've had lying around for ages. I had on a shed for a while, just powering some lights. Um, but what I've done is come up with a quite simple way of getting the solar panel to tilt and swivel. Because as we all know, to get the most out of our solar panel when we're parked up, it's best to have it tilted and face towards the sun as best we can. So that is one of the ways I'm trying to get the most out of my small solar panel. I will be adding some more solar panels uh, when I can afford it. Um, and I'll hope I'm going to experiment with doing the same principle, but with a 100 watt solar panel, because I don't think what I've done it won't work on a massive solar panel basically it it's just not realistic but hopefully a maximum of 100 watt solar panel you'll be able to do it with so what I'll do now I'll take you up on the roof and I'll show you what it looks like and how I've mounted it <clears throat> up on the roof as you can see this is my solar panel it's only a 40 watt one so it's quite small uh, but this is how it goes up just got a restrain, restraining strap. Two al aluminium legs. That's okay, so just pulling the strap down. That secures it. And to stop it rotating when you're traveling, there's just a retraining straining bolt just have to take that out and just take that out and I don't know if you can see there's another bolt in the middle this is just two bits of 12 mil marine ply they've all been painted just to help weatherproof them some more so it's two bits cut the same size in a square with hinges on one end of the solar panel and these legs on the other. And then you just find the middle, put your bolt through and in between these two I've got some lithium grease as well. I plastered it all with lithium grease. So now you can rotate it all the way around get the maximum out of the sun as you can see it's very stable and it's just mounted to the roof with some flat bits of bar and some stainless steel screws just screwed into the the roof the bottom piece of ply with some sealant as well but it's not leaked yet it's been up here for a couple of weeks it works well so when you're parked up you can just set it in in the best place possible i'm hoping i'll be able to do this with a 100 watt solar panel and it'll still be sturdy enough but that'll be an up and coming video when i can get another solar panel and just to put it to put it down ready to travel it's just a case of putting putting the bolt in The middle bolt has a nut, there's a nut on the underneath of the bottom piece of ply and a hole goes straight through and then that is just th uh, threaded into it. And then this one just threads into the, the wood underneath. That's good enough just to stop it rotating when you're traveling. And then when you want to put it down, just release the strap. Fold the legs away. Pull the strap down. Just tighten the strap right up. And that's what pins the panel down. And just tuck 
that underneath the panel. Okay, that was my solar panel. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, just send me some messages. I'll quickly show you my uh, charge controller because I haven't got my kitchen worktop on at the moment, so you should be able to see it. There it is, just a cheap controller. I will be upgrading it as soon as I can to an MPPT. But that's been doing a good job at the moment. Keeping my batteries topped up. So. There you go, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please subscribe. It'll help me out loads. Thank you very much.